What's up, Joseph Q? Uh, I want to continue with the turtle, um, and there's obviously a difference between like street and sport, but at first, a lot of the things that people do, it's kind of the same, right? And realistically, as soon as somebody turtles in front of me, if they know what they're doing, right, they're going to want to stay really tight, but if they don't, they're going to want to like build the base and get up, right? And, and if I'm you know, doing something on the streets, law enforcement wise, or, or a fight happens to, to happen on the streets, they're gonna try to put their hands on the mat, get some active toes on the ground to try to get up, okay? So that's, that's kind of what I'm hoping for, so I can do my move as opposed to him just hunkering down more in like a sports situation for him to roll me back in the guard, okay? So if I get to a position here, I have to always make sure, remember, I'm, I'm keeping my weight on him. At any time, there's no weight, he'll just stand up, right? And I don't want that. I've already gotten to the ground somehow, whether we fell there or he tripped or I took him down. So I need to keep him here. So hip controlling his at a 45, driving at that 45 and not really here. And obviously not behind him. He's got a bunch of cool rolling knee bars and things he can do from there. Okay. So as soon as I, I feel this position, if he starts trying to push his, like do a push up and, and start getting up this way, I have to control obviously the hip or the head to slow that down. So as soon as I start feeling him getting his base under him, so start doing a push up, I'm, I'm just pressing his head down, right? My palm is going to the back of that head and I'm putting pressure down, still putting pressure at this 45. So now his body doesn't really know what to do to try to get balance, okay? And now if I feel this at the toes, I have a area for my hand just to grab, okay? If he has seal feet, this is not gonna be a viable option. And that's why I'll just grab his hand or that elbow and then bump him that way, okay? But if he gives me the option to head down, 45, he's giving me my, my little grip that I want from here. So now I'm just gonna continue to drive at that 45. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift my elbow up, not out, because I'm weak this way. I'm gonna lift it up towards my body, okay? This way, and one of two things is gonna happen. His knee's gonna slide up, I'm breaking that base so I can just roll him. Or if I bring that up and he continues to fight, he's still not gonna be able to post it and I'm gonna continue driving forward, okay? So hands under him, I'm pushing down, I'm grabbing, and now from here, grabbing my elbow backwards here and I'm gonna continue driving him forward, okay? Again, if he's really good, he still has a half guard or something he can try to do. So that slide, me coming to the side control, is going to be really important to finish this side control position as opposed to just letting him get me in half guard. Okay? So, go to triple up. I get this good position. All right. He starts trying to push up, push his head down, grab here, get a good position where my arm is up against his back, keep this 45, and then bring my elbow back towards me. Oh, just like that. Okay, and now from here, as long as I'm controlling this leg, he can't get me back into that side control. I mean, a uh, half guard. So now from here, I just need to move to get in that side control position that I want. All right, grab that leg. He gives you the opportunity and bring your elbow back towards you and not up or away because it's not going to be as strong. All right, like, subscribe, we'll try that.